in case you guys missed the community post, 3M raises its dividend. Uh, so 3M declares $1.49 per share quarterly, uh, which is a 0.7% increase from the prior dividend of $1.48. Uh, X dividend date is February 17th. Uh, so you still have maybe a couple days to uh, enter the position if you wanted to, and uh, they will be paying out in March 12th. Uh, so uh, this was not a very large dividend increase. You know, I know a lot of people are kind of disappointed I'm a little bit disappointed as well let me know your thoughts in the comment section on what you guys think about this uh increase and the last one that i actually did not post in the community post but it was about pepsi which uh, they also announced a dividend increase so the company announced a seven percent increase in its annualized dividend to four dollars and sixty cents per share from a four dollars and thirty cents per share uh, this will be effective uh and uh it will be expected to be paid out in June of uh, 2022. So congrats to all the Pepsi uh, shareholders. I'm definitely a long Pepsi shareholder. 7% is pretty awesome, guys. What's up, everybody? This is Investing Sensei here doing you episode 121 of the Portfolio Update. So hopefully you guys are doing awesome. I definitely am. Uh, you know, the portfolio has been fluctuating these couple com uh, weeks. And uh, to me, it doesn't not really matter for the long term because remember every week we come back, we uh, actually check these projections and they continue to grow and grow every week so it's very exciting and motivating to come back because we continue to dollar cost average no matter what the portfolio is doing if it's up down sideways whatever it's doing we are continuing to grow this dividend snowball and that is just very very motivating especially in a market like this as well if we look at the quarterly dividends you know we see this trend going upwards as well as the annualized dividends which does take a little bit longer because it takes one full year to see this output but the quarterly ones those are the ones that we can see the results much much quicker uh, and you know right now we're working on q1 of 2022 it'll be very exciting because we should hopefully surpass 2021 q4 because we have been continually dollar cost averaging every single week as well reinvesting every dividend as well every time a dividend company pays us we contributed an additional 20 dollars towards that company so we should see continuing this uh you know quarter beat every previous quarter so yeah guys that's pretty awesome but anyways in this episode i have quite a bit of awesome news to show you and uh, actually i'm gonna show you uh you know the overall portfolio how it's doing how it's been fluctuating and then we're gonna jump into the activities where i'm gonna show you what i bought what i sold any dividends that came in and uh, that's actually i actually ended up selling one company out of my portfolio this past week i'm gonna show you why i sold out of it and what i did with that money because i did uh, reinvest it into a different company so make sure that you stick around to the very end because we're gonna wrap it up and we're gonna kick off uh, these uh, dividend scripts seeing actually how much uh, our dividend snowball grew or if it was affected by this move but in the long term i think it's the best uh, move uh, in my place because i am a long-term dividend investor and i uh, plan to hold this for 10 15 20 years from now and i think this is the best move for me but uh, yeah definitely make sure you stick around because it'll be an exciting episode but let's go ahead and get started so the portfolio currently is at $199,429.29. As you'll see, we are quite a bit down uh, from our all-time high of the portfolio. There's actually nothing in the cash balance currently. And then uh, if we look at the value over time to show you, we probably look at the one month or I guess we can look at the one week. But uh, yeah, we're actually fluctuating up and down. But the one month I think will be much better. See how we went from 208 all the way down to, I think at one point we went to 185, but the capture uh, graph of M1 did not capture that. Uh, but I definitely logged in and I saw it hit 185,000. But that's not a big deal with us because we're continuing to see those dividends coming in no matter what. Uh, and then we started moving upwards, downwards, and then uh, on the quarter you'll see this much better. Uh, but uh, you know, up, ups and downs. But in the long term, guys, we are going the right direction. We're going upwards. And overall, look at this, guys. This is pretty awesome. I cannot wait to see how this graph is going to look 10, 15 years from now. And uh, all these uh, red companies that are great discounts right now, they're going to seem so cheap for us. 
but uh, yeah, we're going to continue to dollar cost average. It's uh, pretty exciting, guys. Uh, but overall, let me go ahead and jump over here to the activities, which I guess I'll show you the holdings real quick. Uh, you'll see we have 32 uh, positions and uh, overall total invested, we have about $120,000. Uh, and then we're up about 65%. This has gone down because we have been reinvesting our dividends into those companies that we have massive gains on. If we look at the unrealized gains, our biggest performer has been Nvidia with uh, about, uh, we invested about $4,000, it's worth about 28,000. So that one has been outperforming. We actually did take about $10,000 last year in gains. So this would have been up much, much higher, but uh, yeah, this has one of the best picks I've done. Apple as well, awesome. Microsoft as well. And uh, you know, Skyworks Solutions, which is one of the ones that have a much more position built down. And then Avi, remember we were buying Avi uh, a couple months ago when it was down and uh, it has been uh, a beast so far. And uh, as well, Costco guys, Costco has just been a beast as well. It's just never taken a dip and I really wanna buy more shares of it. But there's a company that uh, I think will uh, hopefully uh, outperform a lot of these companies, hopefully in the long term. And uh, you know, I will show you that. Remember Lockheed Martin here? Lockheed Martin, we were in the red, guys, a couple months ago. We just kept uh, building out this position. Uh, we're up about 10%, almost 11%, which is about $1,000 now. So that's very motivating. Our, uh, you know, our dollar cost averaging is paying off. And uh, now you can see it's uh, trading right around very, very close to $400 a share. We were buying it back in the 30s. Uh, I will three three hundred and thirty dollars a share. So that was very very awesome But uh, let's go ahead and jump over to the activities, which uh, we will do the range uh, this was all the way from the 7th of uh, February and uh, you'll see here actually what I'll do is I'll go ahead and refresh uh, so that we can see the activities uh, the dividend calculator uh, button pop up there we go i do have a script for that if you guys are interested all it does is it adds up all the dividends for uh this week or forever whatever range you uh, have it but uh on the 10th of february guys we got an awesome dividend from apple of 47 dollars 52 cents this was completely passive this is the best thing about dividend investing we had to do absolutely nothing for this so this dividend came in uh, and then on the 10th, I deposited uh, money, but this was for M1 borrow, so this can kind of be ignored. And then on the 10th of February, again, this is actually where I did the sell and the buy. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on this, guys, to find out. So as you guys can see, we actually sold out of Procter & Gamble, guys, $1,232.67. Uh, and then uh, we bought $1,237.67 of Target. So let's just look at this Procter & Gamble. We sold about seven, almost eight shares uh, at $158. And then if we look at the Target, we bought about uh, 5.7 shares at about $214, which is uh, actually pretty good. And I will... Don't worry, I will dive in why I did this uh, in a little bit once we're done, once we wrap this up. Uh, but uh, the next thing on the 11th of February, I ended up depositing $120. $100 is for the dollar cost averaging every single week. And then the $20 is for the additional dividend that paid out this week. So if we look at the 11th, we did two buys, $167.52. We bought $67.52 uh, from Apple. This is the dividend plus an additional $20. So that next quarter they will pay us way more. And then we uh, ended up investing the $100 into Target. So we bought about 0 .47, 0 0.46 shares, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, this is what I did this week. Let's go ahead and uh, just see how much we uh, made in dividends for this week. So click calculate dividends. Uh, and we made a total of $47.52. So that is pretty awesome. That is passive income for you guys. The portfolio is just continuing to grow uh, these dividend snowballs. So it's very exciting. I know I didn't have to click the 
the button because you could just see it right away but it's just fun kicking off these scripts uh, again i do have these scripts available for free uh just check out one of the playlists i have them it's uh all i ask in return is that you subscribe uh with that bell notification if you have not done so already and while you're down there just go ahead and drop a big thumbs up on the video helps out the channel and uh helps me uh stay motivated to continue making uh these type of content but uh yeah guys uh this is what i have for you on the activities uh, i think it's a great opportunity now to show you why i ended up making this move which i guess uh, i will be showing you the consumer pie because it has changed now so we have about thirty thousand invested in it and um these are the current positions for the consumer pie. We have Disney, Costco, Target, Home Depot, Starbucks, Altria, Legend & Platt, Pepsi, and uh, McDonald's. So uh, we actually ended up selling out of uh, the Procter & Gamble. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like I really want to invest the majority of my money in Costco and Target. Those are the beast companies when it comes to like Kimberly Clark's, uh, Procter & Gamble, and Clorox. Because I did have those three positions. I actually ended up selling out of them. I've, I just I feel like there's more potential in these two companies. Uh, and Target I think is a steal right now for me in the long term and I will show you why so you'll see Target's currently trading about $211.56 we have about 15.5 shares I really want to build this average cost base is about $220 and that's uh, currently trading about $211 so uh, I remember this guys in a couple months if we look on unrealized gains we are down on Target so we're down about 4.22% just uh, wait for uh, you know for the future. We'll see Target in the green, uh, and this is a great opportunity for me to build out this position. So uh, that is what I'm gonna be doing. And uh, let's go ahead and dive it over to the Seeking Alpha. So uh, I do have Target for the Seeking Alpha, two hundred eleven dollars fifty six cents. As you guys saw, the trend of the chart. If we look five years, it's not just a beast it has been growing. If we look at the ten years even more of a beast uh, but if we look at the pe it's about 15.98 if we look at the dividend rate of uh, three dollars and sixty cents and then dividend yield uh 1.770 percent and then if we look at the market cap about 101 billion and then uh i'm gonna actually show you uh, just to compare it right now with procter and gamble uh, we'll see Procter & Gamble is currently trading about $156.29. And if we look at the charts here, one year, Procter & Gamble has been up. Five years has been going upwards as well, not as much as Target. And if we look at the 10-year, uh, has also been kind of a beast, but not as much as Target. Look at the max, has been going up in the long term. If we look at the uh, PE, 26.46 dividend rate uh, three dollars 48 cents uh, dividend yield 2.23 percent so it's definitely much higher than uh, target so uh, that's actually a better entry for that but there's actually some downsides to that which i'll show you in a bit uh, and the market cap is about 374 billion uh, so way way uh, larger market cap than uh, target so if we look at the dividends for uh, Target, which I will show you here, and we scroll down to the scorecard, you'll see that the dividend yield is much, much lower than uh, Procter & Gamble's at 1.70%. Remember that my time horizon is 10 to between 10 to 20 percent, uh, 20 years uh, before I even decide to touch this money. So I'm really investing in companies that have a really, really low, lower dividend yield because I actually don't need the money currently. Typ typically, the ones with the lower dividend yield typically have the better uh, five year uh, double digit Kager as well. They also have a very, very smaller payout ratio, which means that there is an opportunity for the dividend to continue compounding much, much faster uh, in the coming years. Uh, so uh, dividend yield, as you guys saw, annual payout is uh, $3.60. So that's how much they pay out every year per one share. Remember, look at this payout ratio, guys, 22.56%. 
very, very much uh, opportunity to uh, grow this dividend over the coming years. So I, this is just the steal, guys. This is a no-brainer for me. And uh, the five-year Kager is 6.38%, obviously a little bit lower, but uh, I think you know over the long term, they will be continuing to compound this. And if you look at the dividend growth, they've been growing this for 53 years. Hopefully this is correct uh, overall because Seeking Alpha has been known to actually have this value and correct. Let me know in the comment section if it's not. Uh, but as you'll see, this is such a great opportunity. If we look at the, I believe it is a dividend yield and uh, we scroll down some, yield on cost. If uh, this loads up some, give it a second. And uh, typically if uh, this is actually, um, I guess if we look at the one year yeah so so the higher the lower that this is the the worse entry it is and if we look at the higher it is it's the better entry because the price is much lower compared to the dividend yield so you typically want a higher dividend yield when you're entering it meaning the price of the stock has gone down which either there has been a sell-off and uh you know as you'll see we're up here closer to the 1.89 percent which is actually a pretty good time we look at the five years it's just been up so it's a great opportunity to enter uh, for a target and we're going to jump into the charts and show you the technical analysis on why i'm actually going to continue to dollar cost average until uh you know it starts moving upwards uh and if we actually jump over to procter and gamble we'll show you the same thing information i showed you here uh, we'll look at dividends and if we look at the dividend yield 2.23 percent uh, so it's a pretty great dividend and i think it's pretty safe there if we look at the annual payouts three dollars 48 cents and then uh, payout ratio 60 percent so that's pretty high and uh, there's not as much room for it to grow uh, and if we look at the five-year kager 5.37 percent so it's much lower than target but I think just Target has way more room uh, to improve that dividend going forward. Uh, dividend growth about 65 years. And, uh, you know, I think overall it's definitely Target's a way better pick for me, especially for my time horizon. And, uh, you know, I'm very excited for that. Uh, and as well, remember the balance sheets, man, Target is a beast on that. So, uh, let's go ahead and actually jump into the technical analysis on why I show you this. So this is TradingView. If you guys are interested in checking it out, you can make an account for free. But uh, you can look at, this is the ticker symbol for Target. I have all my uh, uh, simple moving averages pulled up. You'll see the one that's the kind of purplish is actually the 300 day moving average. As you'll see that if we scroll in, uh, over the long term, well, I guess we'll zoom out a bit. Over the long term, the trend is going upwards, but uh, you'll see that the price of Target can sometimes will hit the 300 day moving average. So over the long term, it's a great opportunity to follow the 300 day moving average for, you know, to enter a position uh, for the long term. So anything, well, I guess anything in the 100 day, 200 day, 300 day is a great opportunity to start continuing to average into the position if you believe it in the long term, which for me targets a very long term hold. And uh, as we see here, you'll see that the price of target is way below the 300 day moving average. It actually passed the 100, 200 and 300 day and is still continue to stay be, uh, below it. So to me, I think it's a great opportunity to buy and uh, I will be doing that. Uh, as you'll see, we also hit over here the 300 day moving average. Uh, and overall, it has just been going up as a beast and we will continue to see that. Uh, right now, I'm gonna continue to buy as long as it stays under the 300 day moving average and then I will revisit uh, the current trades. But uh, I'm trying to build up those positions in Target and I plan to hopefully, hopefully build more uh, because the dividend I think in the long term is gonna be great, guys. But uh, this is all I have for the Target. Uh, let's go ahead and wrap up the video by showing you how much we actually grew the dividend snowball or how much it affected it from actually selling out of Procter and Gamble and putting it all into Target because remember Target does have a lower dividend yield uh, so we did end up buying much less positions than uh, we had in Procter and Gamble so let's just go ahead and uh, actually kick off the scripts for the payout ratio see if we uh, 
pick up the 3M dividend uh, increase. Uh, so you'll see here that we have three increases so far that have been declared. You'll see Procter & Gamble is going to be gone. But we did meet the X dividend date, which was on January 20th of this month. Well, I guess not this month, but this year. And uh, they will be paying out on the 15th. I will be using that money, uh, that dividend money, and buying more Target with it. So we will see how that plays out. Uh, so if we go to Portfolio Tools and we say Get Latest Dividends, uh, this will get wiped out. It'll recalculate everything. It takes a minute or so. But uh, we do have uh, these scripts completely available for free if you guys are interested. Again, all I ask is that you subscribe with that notification and drop a big thumbs up on the videos to help out the channel uh, in the long term. But uh, you'll see that we actually went ahead and got the dividend from 3M, which uh, that is pretty awesome. We got the increase. You see the script actually picked that up for us. We had to do nothing. We just had to click the button and uh, yeah. So that's pretty awesome. We'll look at the dividends that are coming up for this week, which is pretty awesome. We, we're going to have all these. I believe it ends on the 18th. Yeah, so we're going to have quite a bit of dividends. And, uh, you know, I'm very excited for that because these are just going to continue to reinvest as well. Avi, that's going to be a pretty juicy dividend. And they had done a dividend increase. So that is going to be pretty amazing, guys. But uh, let's go ahead and jump over here to settings, guys. We will go ahead and delete this and uh, we need to jump over to personal capital so that we can grab the latest version of the portfolio so we can see how much uh, our dividend snowball grew or uh, you know went down or moved because we did do that trade. So I'll see you guys over there. All right guys, so we're here at personal capital. You'll see this green button, click on it. All it does is that it will copy the content of the portfolio into the clipboard and we can jump back over to the Google Sheets. You can right click, pay special values, and uh, there we go. We can jump over here to holdings. Uh, this is what uh, what we just pasted. It'll uh, parse it all out for you and uh, display it nicely. So you click portfolio tools, uh, update portfolio holdings. This will get wiped. It'll use the new stuff we just pasted. And uh, we can jump over to the dashboard and see how everything is going, guys. So this will be very exciting. All right, guys, so it looks like from this trade that we actually sold out of Procter & Gamble, we did actually go down some. You'll see that uh, dividend yield uh, currently is about 1.54%, uh, which is actually up because the market has gone down. Uh, you, dividend yield on cost, uh, this has actually gone down because we did buy more Target. And uh, overall, uh, yearly dividends, we are, are making $3,068.93. Uh, compared to $3,072.22. So we did go down from this trade, but I think it's the wisest, smartest decision that I, I make. Uh, I think it will pay off in the long term. And, uh, you know, a couple of dollars we did go down for the year. It, it'll be definitely worth it. Uh, for the month, we're making about $255.74 now. Uh, for the week, we went up. We, I guess we didn't go up. We did, we did go down about six cents. And, uh, yeah, so on the day we uh, made eight dollars forty-one cents. Uh, so we went down about a penny hourly. We're still making about thirty-five cents an hour, and then hourly work wage. So this is if our portfolio was to go for work a forty-hour work week for us, they would get paid at an hourly rate of a dollar forty-eight cents. So uh, long term, we want to try to get this to minimum wage. We could just send our portfolio to go to work for us a forty-hour work week, and it should generate us the minimum wage. So that'll be very exciting to see when we reach that goal. But uh, yeah, guys, this is actually all I have for you in uh, this video. If you stuck all over your all the way to the very end, be sure to drop a hashtag uh, consumers because this was a stock in the consumer section that I ended up selling out of and, uh, you know, entering uh, the target position. But uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Be sure that you're subscribed with that bell notification if you haven't done so already. Uh, it helps out the channel. If you do, drop a big thumbs up on the video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Stay safe out there. Bye, guys.